What's up, YouTube? Prisoner of the Golden Keep. That's the quest for today. Use bashing weapons, cast fire spells, use weapons that deal fire damage. It's pretty much obviously their resistance to everything but fire and bashing weapons. So, fire damage. So this is my best, you know, fire damage bashing weapon. Um, my light hammer that I was using for PVP at once. Um, armor recommendations. This is the armor recommendation for the boss. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I just fought the boss. Um, boss, so I still got the loadout on. Um, but... These are the loadouts that I recommend. You're going to need shock and fire resist. So this is for fire. So let me actually go to my character. So this is the fire resist. HP on the rings. Necklace, gauntlets, fire resist on the body. Boots, you know. Shield doesn't matter, you know. But fire resist and for the other loadout will be shock resist. So glass armor, strongest resistance that you can enchant it with. It's the best armor for shock resist, but any armor that has shock, um, you know, shock enchanted armor um, will be the best for this quest for your shock resist. So we're going to start out first with fire resist. Of course, same weapon in both loadouts. So um, any bashing weapon will do. This is the best if you have a bashing weapon and she it with fire. So for the demore, obviously you need fire resist. There we go. Easy. And... For the warrior, you need shock resist. <clears throat> so right here, bang. And also, she does do fire damage, by the way. So um, you can't use both. The shock damage is actually worse than the fire. So I recommend the shock resist for her. Well, for the warriors. There's male versions of the warrior as well. I was waiting for the block, but anyway, I'm getting HP recovery anyway. So there we go. For the boss, you definitely want to make sure your HP is definitely all the way at max. For the boss, not this, and not the boss right here. Um, well, there's no boss, but there's a secret room with um, somebody in there. So. easy obviously with the fire resistant armor you won't take any damage from the demores so there we go this is the secret right here run through that now you switch to shock resist easy fight fight this one right here do as much dps as you can don't give it the yeah, up there we go See that? Almost took us out. There's a lot of hills around. So um, remember I recommended shock resist. The shock still does a lot more damage. So I definitely recommend using the shock um, because they cast lightning more than they cast flames, you know, fire attacks. So we'll recover the HP from fighting the Demores. So back to fire resist for the Demores. So this is where we'll recover a lot of HP back uh, when we fight the Demores. So I think th th this will be another shock opponent in here. Let's see. Yeah, it will be. So another one of her. 
Um, honestly, you could skip her based off the walking pattern, possibly. No, nah, never mind. If this works out perfect, yep, that's my fault. So it must be the shield, um, shield that, <laughs> that does the damage. So we will have to heal up. Um, I don't think it's enough heals to get the HP high enough for the boss. I thought it was, but no. So back to fire resist. There we go. The HP is pretty high, but we will max it out for the boss just to be safe. Now, there are hills behind the boss. So if you want to take a chance, so this is this is my HP armor. This is actually my, one of my PvP sets, setups. So if you want to take a chance, right there. So this is the loadout for the boss. Um, this is my personal loadout. I just recommend HP on three pieces of armor or two pieces. With me, I don't have a three setup for this. Um, for this. Um, for this loadout. So for this build, I don't have three pieces of HP armor. But if you do have HP, I mean matching set. There we go. I don't have three pieces that will match set for this armor. So I use magic. So I'm not even using magic, but I definitely recommend three pieces of HP armor uh, for this for this boss. So we go in here. That's the boss right there. Um, I'll take the risk and not heal. I don't recommend doing that. There we go. I am healing now. Look at that. Keep your shield up if this happens. And he'll just keep your shield up. So I recommend, as always, I'll be trying to take these risks. Keep your shield up. Okay, that's that's what you do anytime they hit crazy on you like that. So all I was saying was usually it was some hill, you know, some food in here for you to eat to recover some HP. That's the only one, so it was pretty much nothing. But well, that's the quest, guys. Uh, make sure you heal up all the way before the boss. This is the second time I've done this. Almost died this time. So, guys, make sure you heal up. And you need these healing potions. So, this is a very important quest to complete. So, Prisoners of the Golden Keep. That's the quest, guys. And um, it's three different loadouts. I'll go over them really quick. This was the boss. I recommend HP armor. Rings, none of that matters, honestly. Just three pieces of HP for the boss. And for shock, three pieces of shock resistance for the armor. So helmet, helmet, <laughs> armor, and the boots. And HP on the rings. And the same thing is for the fire resist. So, fire enchantments on the armor, rings, HP, rings, gauntlets, HP, and, of course, fire on the weapon. That's, so, that's as good as it gets for this quest. Not a bad quest, but definitely worth it for the HP. You need those healing potions for doing other quests. So, guys, have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. See you later.